Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with week two of the F1 2021 Fantasy League. Yeah, having a bit of a recap obviously from the weekend's Italian well, Imola Grand Prix, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. I got it wrong in the podcast that we did last week as well and I'm sure I'm going to get it wrong over the course of today's video. But yeah... Very, very interesting Grand Prix. Uh, actually, at the time of recording this, uh, Jamie and I will be recording the podcast just after I finish this video. Uh, so obviously, if you want to know sort of my full thoughts and opinions to the Grand Prix, wait for that video. That should be coming live yesterday, as well as a massive, massive thank you uh, for the support so far on the new F1 2021 mod career mode. I uploaded that video about half an hour ago, and it is absolutely banging it so far. Uh, so obviously... If you have missed out on that video earlier on, go back and check it out if it's something you're interested in as well. But yeah, having a look though at the Italian Grand Prix on paper... Looking like a good week for us, I'll be honest. You can see Turbo Lando Norris, I'm sure, has probably scored us some big points after that weekend. Gasly didn't do too badly in the end after a bit of an up and down affair of it. Sainz did well. Russell, not so much. And then Hamilton, I'm sure, still got some good points on the board as well. And of course, McLaren, yeah, had a pretty decent showing as well. So let's have a look then at how many points uh, we did score in the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 185, a whole lot better than we did in the first weekend of the season. Now that's up. How many did we score in Bahrain? 130 odd, was it? Yeah, 138 we scored back in Bahrain there. So 185 is a, a well needed improvement after the first weekend of the season there. And I think Lando Norris is certainly going to be someone throughout the year uh, that a lot of people are going to be turboing there. I don't think we could squeeze Gaz, uh, sorry, Charles Leclerc even, I should say, into the budget. Otherwise, we might have been tempted uh, to go with him ready for, you know, sort of looking in towards the future. But I mean, we'll discuss that later on in this video. Of course, for those of you that are watching this video and aren't aware of what F1 Fantasy is, make sure you get yourself involved, obviously, on the F1 website. We've got an official league going. Obviously, we'll have a look as to where we stand overall in that as well, of course. If you go onto their website, you've got all the rules and everything like that. It's really good fun, just something a little bit different. And yeah, of course, we're focusing on it over the course of this series then. So 40 points for Lewis Hamilton. Pleasantly surprised by at the end of the day there. 68 for Lando Norris, so he must have scored 34, obviously, before his turbo driver there. So, again, a very, very good result by him. 17 for Gasly. Not bad, not great either. 23 for Sainz is very, very good as well. Uh, he had a bit of a weird weekend. Like I said, we'll discuss more about the real Grand Prix in the podcast I do with Jamie. And then, of course, McLaren there, third and sixth. At the end of the race, a very, very good result for those guys. And of course, the one man who knocked me back uh, was, unfortunately, George Russell. I know a lot of people have said just stick Latifi in the team, but he would have done even worse as well there. So, yeah, a good week for us. 185 points. I will take very, very happily uh, indeed there. I don't know if we can have a quick look as to see what the top team was at the end of last week there. If we have a look, Global League, uh, we'll have a quick look, see who was the best team then. At the end of the Italian Grand Prix from Imola. 316 points with the Mega Driver there. Uh, so he was Charles Leclerc. Uh, sorry, yeah, Charles Leclerc. Lando Norris. Carlos Sainz. Gasly. McLaren. And Max Verstappen is his Mega Driver there. So yeah, he, I'm sure he pretty much scored as many points as he theoretically could have there. That's what, 200, 248, 268, 276. 316 points. At the end of the day there. So that is an incredibly good job uh, by Mayank T at the end of the day there. So yeah, brilliant result done by him. Who is currently leading the way on the Global League then? It is actually top one by Kudret K on 509 points. So who has he got in his team there? So he actually scored 316 as well last week uh, with that roster. Uh, what did he score in Bahrain? Again, he had Sonoda. On the cards there. And of course Red Bull as well. So he didn't quite score max points in the first week of the season. But he's he's top of the World League so far. So fair play uh, to Kudrek K there from I think. Is that Kazakhstan? Yes. Uh, Kazakhstan there. But having a look though over at our league of course. Obviously where all the more important things are going on then. Of course we've got a, we've got a pretty good league going so far. So if you aren't already involved make sure you get yourself involved. 348 teams now. In the league there as well, of course. We've got the share code there, obviously, for those of you that do want to check it out. There will also be a link down in the description uh, below, of course, to those of you uh, that want to check out the league. Obviously, yeah, like I said, get yourself involved. It's really easy to set up. You can put three teams in as well. Of course, we'll have a quick look as to see where everyone is standing after the first two weekends of the year. Now, of course, we haven't used our Mega Driver uh, just yet, which we're, we're going to try and save, sort of see what happens between Hamilton and Max. I ideally sort of want to wait a few more weeks and then Mega 1 when we know they're probably going to have a really good chance 
of just sort of dominating a Grand Prix weekend. I always think it's quite a big risk uh, to sort of place your Mega Driver this early on in the year. But I mean, if you Mega and Turbo Lando, you could have been on for some big points over the last couple of weeks as well. I'm not sure if, to be honest, I say that. I'm not 100% sure you can actually do that and get like six times points on a driver for one weekend there. But yeah, so far though, it is Karan A at the top of the league. There was Sir Hamilton and the lads, 212 points in Imola, 265 in Bahrain there. He actually, yeah, you can see Mega Driver, Lewis Hamilton, Turbo Lando Norris there, Gasly, Schumacher, Leclerc, and McLaren there. Uh, who did he have for Imola, though? The same team, yeah, they, they, yeah, the same team there as well. You can see he still scored very, very good points at the end of the day there. 212 to our 180-odd is still a fantastic job done by him. Surprise Schumacher got 11 points. I won't lie, I'm, I'm impressed he's done that well after a bit of another disastrous weekend for him at the end of the day there. But yeah, I mean, Gasly, again, like we said, had a pretty good weekend. He's got a pretty similar team to ourselves there. We've both got, obviously, Hamilton, Norris, and McLaren there. We've also both got Gasly as well, I should say. It's just he's got Leclerc and Schumacher, which, to be honest, seem like a better pairing than Sainz and Russell at the moment. So I might look about getting them swapped at the end of the day. They're at least swapping one of them. I'm going to try and see if we can squeeze Charles Leclerc into the roster there. But you can see second just behind him, though. He's on 477 points. Second is Hugo W. Of course, obviously, if you guys do want to get your team mentioned, make sure you let me know which team is yours down in the comments below as well. And obviously, we'll try and find them in future videos there. He actually used his Mega Driver last weekend. This we Mega Hamilton. Oh, not perfect for him. Not not quite as good as it could have been. Not as bad as it could have been either. Had Hamilton still been sat in the midfield towards the end there, that would have been heartbreaking for him. But again, he's got the same... Th same four as us there, but again, Sh uh, Charles Leclerc and Mick Schumacher as well there. So he's got a very similar, well, he's got exactly the same team as the guy at the top there. Hans Sand Jobs, interesting name, I'll be honest. Uh, he actually scored near enough as many points without using his Mega this weekend. Verstappen, good choice. Norris, good choice. He pretty much banged it this weekend, did Rob that in at P3 there. I mean, Stroll and Gasly scored probably more points than they should have at the end of the day there. And of course, McLaren as well that you can see we've got louis three obviously by louis b in p uh p4 at the moment no sorry no p3 at the moment no p4 he is p4 after the first couple of weekends there he also mega driver lewis hamilton so he's got both alpha towers that's an interesting gamble at the end of the day there sight and uh, ferrari as well so he's got a slightly different team to ourselves uh but still scoring pretty good points as well there. then you've got a mog team two so he's doing well. 248. He's actually used his wild card, though, ready for Italy. So he went Hamilton, Schumacher, Leclerc, Gasly, Norris, and Ferrari. Who did he have for week one, then, out of interest? So he had Hamilton still. So, yeah, he has certainly changed it around a fair bit after the first weekend of racing there. Bobby in sick, the head of Isaac, Gethin, Oli T, and then jo uh, Joshua. Jo Joshua, Joshua. I'm probably going to butcher that name as well. They're horrendously there. You can see rounding out your top ten. Who is the top driver not to have used their mega driver? Then here we go. It's Dorothea R. I, again, I apologise for butchering all the names in this. 213 in 183 points there. He's banged it early on this season. Verstappen, McLaren, Norris, Ricardo. Not such a great choice, I'll be honest. But still, I'm sure he's, he's scored some good points on the board there. Leclerc and Yuki Tsunoda as well. So again, another good team by him, did he? I'm taking he had the same roster for Bahrain. Yeah, so he's had a really good start to the year. Turbo and Lando Norris is worth big money at this early stage of the World Championship. McLaren, I think, have just about got the third fastest car, and Lando is looking good early on this year as well there. And he's actually ahead of Craig, who's used his Mega Driver as well. They're only 234 points. You can see he's got Hamilton, Verstappen, and then unfortunately, Russell, Raikkonen, and Schumacher. Yeah, you really want to be turbo in someone a bit better uh, than Kimi Raikkonen at the end of the day there. So an interesting gamble by him looking further down the order. Where do we rank so far in the league? There, we're on 323 points. So we're not too far down the order anymore. We are currently joined to 147th out of 348. I'm rather happy with that. And again, obviously we haven't used our Mega Driver just yet either. This guy has got a very different team to us. He's gone Ferrari, Red Bull, and then Russell and McLaren. That is an interesting roster, and he's still doing as well as me at the start of the year. There. So that's a very, very good job 
done by him there. Jake, team three just behind us. Who has he got on his team? Verstappen, Bottas, minus nine. Oh, he's not happy. That's not been a good weekend for Jake there. Russell and Bottas is not good. The only thing he could have done to make that worse was put Latifi in there instead of the likes of Lando Norris. Yeah, not a fun weekend for him as well there. But McLaren as well, again, a solid team to have on your roster at this stage of the year. Let's have a look towards the rear of the field who is right down towards the bottom and I don't think generally you can actually scroll right to the very bottom there seems to be a bit of a glitch on the F1 website yeah we can only go down to 250 if it's rather annoying on the site at the moment there and that is Nicholas A uh, with minus 9 minus 11 again not a good weekend for him turbo in Ricardo for some reason and then Verstappen Sonoda and Ferrari as well that's a bit of a weird one although according to that he's ranked 219 oh no he was 299th last week and then he was 158th in the first week of racing there. Of course, this is the overall results. Who is doing well after Imola only? Again, obviously, that was Hugo at the top of your standings there. Joshua uh, in at P2 there, ahead, getting ahead of Louis. And you can see, obviously, a lot of these guys, the same sort of drivers that we saw from last week. This guy scored 223 without using his mega driver there. So, again, Verstappen, Leclerc, Norris, Gasly, and Stroll. That's, that's pretty good going. There's no denying it. That is a very, very good job done at the end of the day there where did we finish last week then i think we were we were must have been pretty high up the order surely with our 180 odd points uh where were we there we go 61st only 61st with how well we did there that that's a little bit heartbreaking i won't lie to you guys but of course then port him out in just a couple of weeks obviously going to be very very interesting to see what does happen there uh i Again, I'm going to have a quick look, see if we can change our team ever so slightly. Can we change ready for next weekend? Yes, we can. So, we could get rid of Sainz. Could we get Leclerc in? How much more is Leclerc than Sainz? Oh, no, he's a lot more uh, than Carlos Sainz. Well, 1.1 million under, unfortunately, there. So, we'll have to keep Carlos Sainz in the books for now. Uh, we'll discard changes. Obviously, I don't want to waste my Mega Driver or my change for the week on that. Now, actually saying that, do we want to change George Russell? Like, is it worth getting someone else in for next weekend? Now, how can we edit the team again? Where, where's that gone? Uh, we, we, oh, there we go. Manage. Oh, apparently, I can't see anymore. Now, George Russell, we could get someone worth $8.4 in. And again, Williams have looked good over one lap pace. Is the likes of Giovinazzi going to be worth much better? Is the likes of Latifi going to be much better? Latifi is actually worth more than Russell at this stage of the year there. I No, I'm going to stick with George Russell ready for next weekend. I have faith in him and Williams uh, that maybe next weekend they can have a bit of a better result. That being said, he'll probably still go backwards. The Williams qualifying pace has been really good so far this year against their race pace still. So, yeah, I'm, I hate to do it. I hate to do it to him, but I'm going to get rid of George Russell. Uh, we are going to put in... I got, we can't stretch to uh, Sonoda, but we are going to put in... I'm going to say... Is Giovinazzi worth it? Yeah, Alfa Romeo, they've been a little bit better in race trim. Hopefully he can go forward a bit in the Grand Prix. We're going to gamble it. We're going to put Giovinazzi in... Uh, for one week there as well. Obviously, we've got five substitutions left between now and the end of... Oh, no, for this race week. So I'm guessing we can change a lot more drivers if we want to down the line there. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what changes you obviously want to make to the team. I'm probably going to get around, actually, in setting up our other two teams. We'll probably make another semi-serious team and then a mean team as well for a bit of experimentation with the series. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, do make sure you leave a like, get yourself subscribed as well. Let me know how well your team is doing down in the comments below. And yeah, hopefully we'll be back very, very soon with another F1 Fantasy video. A big thank you to our channel members for making these videos possible. You can be featured in these end clips as well as granted access to some other exclusive perks for just £1 a month by clicking the join button below.